Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley is in Dallas tonight. Her campaign trying to gain ground on former President Donald Trump staged a rally at Gillies. But it wasn't without incident. Ali Spilliards was there and joins us from Deep Ellum. Ali, how many people turned out here? Brian, there were somewhere between three and 400 people here at Gillies to hear from the former UN ambassador. Some were Nikki Haley supporters. Some said they were here looking for an option other than President Biden or former President Trump. I heard that from a Republican who said she's moderate and not far right conservative. I also heard it from a lifelong Democrat. We saw former Fort Worth Mayor Betsy Price introduce Haley, calling her a strong conservative who has the ability to get along with other people. Haley hit on the national debt, talking about clawbacks she'd done act for unspent COVID dollars. She also talked about better health care for veterans and defunding sanctuary cities as a way to tighten border security. She also spent a long time tonight talking about age. Haley not only called for term limits in Congress, but the need for a presidential candidate who isn't 80 years old. She said she was referring to both Biden and Trump. We all know people who are 75 that can run circles around us. And then we know Joe Biden. <laughs> and Trump! Now, Haley was interrupted several times throughout her speech tonight by protesters, most of whom were here in support of Palestine and calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. They all were removed, but that led to a protest outside of the rally as supporters were leaving. And we've seen those protesters head on home here in the last hour or so. Now, I should mention that Haley talked about her position in the polls before she wrapped up tonight. And rather than focus on the numbers that show she lags, she pointed to those that suggest the majority of Americans want an option other than a repeat of 2020. As for her supporters, when asked about the polls, they told me that right now they are not paying too much attention to those numbers, saying they have been deceived by polls in the past. Brittany. All right, Allie, thank you.